This is a very essential question everyone is asking about, and there is no one recipe that fits all. But I would say that there are certain steps or guidelines that we recommend that every state should be considering. First, you need like a political will to start really planning for a smart city and smart community. And we'd like to have this kind of mix between what we call it the top down and the bottom up approach so that you have an umbrella of the government and the whole industry from the very high level. But you also still need to be in access and in consult consultation and with all the community to know the exact needs for them so that the two approaches can already two direction can meet together for the benefit of all. And third, uh, you should be always looking for what is the type of the city itself you are go going to, to, to plan because there is, the, the smartness itself has different levels and could be customized to the nature of each city. You should be aware of all these at least at the very beginning before planning a new smart city. Yes, actually smart city interact very well with different goals from the sustainable development goals and in terms of poverty, in terms of electricity, in terms of education, the health, everything. Because we're talking about a city, about a community. And another thing is that the smart city itself is a centric, is a citizen-centric principle. So everything should be based on the citizen and for the citizens. That's why in a smart city you will find citizen can be very well interacting with the surrounding whether he is in the home, whether he is in, on the road, whether he is in hospital, wherever he is. So he has good access with the whole environment around him. Second, he should be feeling more safer because even at the level of home and the level of the whole uh, society and the whole city itself, the way he's interacting with the, the traffic, everything should be done in an efficient manner and very efficient, very smooth. So this will make the whole life much easier than it is right now and the citizen himself will be part to develop more data so that the whole management of the city can really feed back the citizens and improve their life of style. And then the user himself can make access to all this data and all this environment around him to make his life much easier. Actually, we, uh, we're trying within this uh, deliverable to highlight a holistic or unified approach to stress two main things. The first one is a hierarchical approach in the way the city should be structured, starting from the devices and the hardware and the infrastructure, and then ending up with the applications layer. So we are introducing this layer of infrastructure, then this layer of communicating the data itself, and then this is a general platform that interacts between the raw data and the deliverables at the, end, at the high end. So that this is like a generic structure we are providing to the member states so that they can make use of while they are building and structuring their, their smart city. And second, by providing them, them key principles that should be there in a smart city in terms of sharing information. This is a very important principle about innovation, about the involvement of the community, about the uh, political will, Everything related to the main principles about uh, the city itself should be in there. So they have like certain principles to abide to and they have the general architecture which is more flexible and allows for more innovation and involvement between the citizens and the whole state.